Being well-rounded is overrated, and here's why. Hey there, my name is Isai Rodriguez, and I'm here to light a fire under you, and this is Home Business Hustle, where we build your leadership skills and your home business profits one actionable tip at a time. So smash that subscribe button, tap the bell for updates, and let's dive in. All right, so uh, I hope you guys are doing great, man, because today we're going to talk about something that's going to blow your mind and potentially change the game for you in your home business journey. Now, I want you to like listen up, like put, give me your full attention because oh, this is important, right? I want you to forget everything that you've been told about working on your weaknesses, right? A lot of gurus out there, they tell you, uh, you know, work on your weaknesses so that you get better at those, you know, those weak points, right? Forget all that. Right? Stop wasting your time trying to be good at the stuff that you suck at. Here's the deal. I've been teaching this to my teams for years now, and it's time for you to learn too, is that you need to focus on your strengths, right? Not your weaknesses. I'm talking about your natural talents here, not your, you know, not your attitude, not your, uh, your character. Uh, you know, those are those are different stories, right? Let me break it down to you uh, in a way that'll stick probably better. So imagine uh, a scale from one to 10 where one is complete and utter, you know, terrible <laughs> crap, whatever you want to call it, and 10 being, you know, world class, if you will, right? Most people, if you if if they work really hard, most people can improve their abilities by about two points on that scale. So if you're naturally a four at something, then busting your butt and working hard and hustling and all that stuff will potentially get you to be a six, right? Big whoop. That basically means that you've gone from below average to slightly above average, okay? So congratulations on being mediocre. <laughs> but here's where it gets exciting. If you find something that you're naturally good at, let's say you're a seven at whatever this is, then at that point, you know, if you're a seven, then you've got the potential to become a nine or even, you know, a perfect 10, right? That's the difference between, you know, being uh, one in 10,000 and one in 100,000, right? So like, yeah, now we're talking, all right? So here's what you should do. Find your strengths and start working on them like your life depends on it. Because honestly, in this business, it kind of does, right? Think about it. What are you like, seriously like sit down and think to yourself, like, what are you naturally or what am I naturally good at? Right? Maybe you're maybe you're a smooth talker, let's say. Maybe you're a numbers whiz, right? Maybe you're uh, maybe you just have social media down pat. Every you know nuance that comes out, every algorithm change, you, like you just understand it and you know. Maybe that's you. Whatever it is, that's where you need to focus your energy. Don't get me wrong, right? I'm not saying that you should totally ignore your weaknesses completely, but I mean, like, what, what, why spend all your time trying to turn a two into a four? right when you can turn a seven into a nine you follow me so here's here's an exercise for you take a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle on the one side write things that i'm good at right on the other side write down things that i suck at right <laughs> be honest with yours uh with yourself nobody's watching you nobody's gonna know so you know don't lie to yourself okay now look at that list of things and and like, like look at the paper and write down the things that you're good at and the things that you're not so good at right and and look at those things what are you good at like those are the those are the money makers my friends like that's where your future lies focus on those things and make them better because I mean, you can always hire someone for or get help with with the stuff that you're mediocre at right you know what i mean like nobody's gonna uh, pay money for mediocre, right? They're, they want um, top of the line service. They want, you know, like they want that 10 or as close to a 10 as possible when they're, uh, you know, they're going to pay money, right? So remember the, in this game of home business and direct selling, you don't need 
to be good at everything, right? You just need to be exceptional at one or two things, right? Find those things, develop them even more, make them a solid 10 if possible. And if you do that, you'll be unstoppable, trust me. So I got I have to ask you, are you ready to stop spinning your wheels and start making real progress? Because listen, if you ask me, it, it's time to play to your strengths and leave the rest in the dust. Leave it behind. Forget about it. Like, trust me, your bank account will, will thank you. Your team will appreciate you. Like, there's no downside here right now. I want you to get out there and make it happen. All right? So there you have it, my friends. That's my pep talk for today. Remember, success leaves clues. And I just gave you a big one there. So I want you to use it wisely. All right. If you found this episode helpful and inspiring, smash the subscribe button, tap the bell for updates. And if you have any questions or topics that you'd like to talk about, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And if you have no idea where to start on your entrepreneurial journey or if you're struggling to get your business off the ground or anything like that, don't forget to follow the link in the description for access to my free masterclass training where I show you how my team is putting these tips, all these tips that we're talking about, putting them into action in order to build a successful home business and how you can do the same too, all right? Till the next time, stay legendary, my friends, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care now. Bye.